Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Skyrim. We are back here in Gearman's Hall. Uh, we have found the corpse of Archmage Gearman. Um, he's he's quite dead, to be fair to him. He's quite dead. Um, okay, so can we disenchant anything that we don't use? That we can disenchant that. Fortify one hundred enchantment. Yep, yeah, nice, cool. Everything else we are using. Anything we can actually enchant. Are we are we using the scout boots and scout gauntlets? I feel like we are. Scout boot, yes we are. Okay, good. So Scout boots, enchantment, fortify one-handed, that could be very useful. Soul gem, we will use a lesser soul gem. 2% more damage. Uh, it's not It's not really good, is it? <sighs> Help if we have a better soul gem. But we'll enchant it, I suppose. And the gauntlets, we can enchant with... One-handed as well, I suppose. Again, it's 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 not good. It's not good at all. But it's it's a slight boost, so you know. So it's certainly better than a than a kick in the teeth, anyway. So we'll take it. We will certainly take it. We'll just have to work towards just getting better enchantments in the future, which I'm sure we will as we journey through Skyrim. I can hear those, I can hear them grunting. It's very unsettling. Oh, it's a Draugr White. Didn't need to take a healing portion there, that was accidental. Okay, horn. I thought I said horn, it's horned. Grab that. It's actually better than what we're using. It is, but is it two handed? No. Oh. I think I'll use this then. I'll use it. I, I, I can probably enchant it later on, I'm sure. That, that works for me. Try. Ah, it's that lever. Smart. That's smart. Ooh, hi there. Dead. Not a whole lot going on here. There's another. Can you please stop with that? We just completely <laughs> zapped into high heaven there. So that was the that was where we were a second ago. Got a 
weird pedestal in the middle of the room, which we probably shouldn't speak of in case we sort of summon any, any evil ancient spirits, which could happen. Oh, Sigdis Golderson. Ooh, no. Who? Oh. That, that must be the real one. He's, 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 he's going to teleport like crazy, isn't he? That's the real one. He did not even get, get stunned by that. Let's take a couple of healing potions. We've got enough magic here. Tell you what, let's just... Um, That. Gee, ow! This must be a fake one. Yeah, it gets all his health. Also a fake one. This is the real boy. He's gonna disappear again. I mean, if we just focus on focus on the, the real one, because Lydia will probably take out the, the, the clones. We're getting a lot of natural healing from somewhere, and I don't know where. Yeah, we need to top up our health quickly. Um, da, 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 da. Right, let me just think of this for a second. If we take a couple of magic proportions and we just quickly use um, all flesh just to just top our armor up. Then we'll go back to strangulation. I mean, the fact that his clones can use shouts is ridiculous. Yeah, he is not affected by shouts and devices. Oh, we might have him. We might have him. Is he finished? He's finished. Golder Amulet Fragment. Increases your stamina by 30 points. Golder Black Bow. Absorb 15 points of magicka. Right wrist of ceiling. Wow. So that's stamina by 50 points or health by 40 points. I think health is probably more important overall. Um, we'll check the writ of ceiling. We really need to start selling all these books. <laughs> Desperately. Forbidden legend. Oh, hello. Be bound here, Sigdis, murderer, betrayer. Condemned by your crimes against the realm and lord. May your name and your deeds be forgotten forever, and the charm which you bear be sealed by our ward. Interesting. We can level up two. Uh, we will upgrade our magicka a bit. One-handed, we can't actually use that. Fighting stance, hack and slash. Attacks with war axes cause extra bleeding damage. Attacks with... Oh, I just realised we, we, we went to be using the orcish, the sword, weren't we? Not the uh, mace. Attacks with swords have a... Well, we'll, we'll go with swords because that's what we're going to be using, I think. Uh, so we need to unfavourite the that. And we need to favourite that. And we'll use it as well. There we go. Okay, so what was what was that cryptic message? Is it at the top? Been legend. What, what happens if we actually activate that? 
so it's in here, apparently. Okay. Well, after that epic battle, we shall carry on. That was quite a fun battle, actually. Definitely different to what I'm used to. Plentiful Magicka, Lesser Soul Gem, Words and Philosophy. How does that increase your two-handed? Words and Philosophy, it's like, oh, oh now, I, now I feel all of a sudden very, uh, very strong with, uh, with two-handed weapons, yeah. Ooh, a flawed Valor Stone. Hmm, interesting. Ruby, 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 Staff of Sparks. Nice, we're getting a lot of stuff here. A lot of stuff we probably can't carry, but you know. We should probably dump all of it in like in our in our chest in Bree's home if we if we can't actually find the anyone to sell it to. That's probably a good probably what we should do. Oh adventurer. Gold, lost legends, minor healing. What's lost legends? Investigate the goal of the legend. Let's have a look at this. Is this all? Ah, oh, we, 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 we can we can read this. I'm curious. The history of Skyrim is vast, predating even the most ancient records of man and mer. Much has been lost, fallen to the ravages of war or the turning of the ages, but nothing is ever truly forgotten. Where no, where no records exist, legends and folk tales offer us a key to the past, a way to piece together truths half remembered in the, in the minds of men. For generations, the people of Morthal have told whispered tales of the Pale Lady, a ghostly woman who wanders the northern marshes. Wasn't it, wasn't the Pale Lady the one who was in Oblivion as well, in like the dungeons, and she, she turned out to be a vampire? Uh, some say she she steals children who wander who wander astray. Others that her sobbing wail strikes dead all those who all those who hear it. But behind these tales may lie a kernel of truth. For, for, for ancient records speak of Ormriel, a mystery a mysterious figure. Iskrimor's hairs battle for decades and finally sealed away. Reachmen tell the story of Foul and Red Eagle, an ancient king who rallied his people and drove back the armies of Cyrodiil with a flaming sword. Though accounts vary, they too seem to be based on an underlying truth. The Imperial Chronicles of Empress Hestra mentioned a rebel leader of that era who was eventually cornered and slain in battle at the, co at the cost of a full legion of men. But some tales prove far harder to analyse. Among scholars, perhaps the best known is the Forbidden Legend of the Archmage Galder. In the dawning days of the first era, the story goes... Uh, the story goes, there lived a powerful wizard by the name of Galder. Wise and just, he was well known in the courts of King Harold and the Yarls of Skyrim, and his aid and counsel were sought by man and mer alike. And then he was murdered. Some say one of his sons killed him, others that King Harold, jealous, jealous of his power, gave the order, but Galder's three sons fled into the night, pursued by a company of Harold's best warriors. Um, and the Lord Girmund, the king's personal battle mage. A great, a great chase ensued from the wilds of the reach to the glacial north. One brother is said to have perished in the ruins of Falgunther at the foot of Solitude. The others were run to ground soon thereafter, and once it was done, King Harold ordered every record of their murders destroyed, and Golda's name and deeds were struck from the rolls of history. Even today, few sources remain, and no, no bard will tell the tale, but perhaps the truth yet remains in some ancient ruin waiting to be on Earth, for nothing is ever truly forgotten. Interesting. Very interesting. What's, what's the next stage of that? Investigate the Galder legend. And if we go on the world map, where, where's that? Investigate the Galder legend for, Gun for Gunther, because that's where one of the sons apparently perished. Okay, so that's an interesting little um, lead to chase up at some point. Okay. Nice. Right, and we shall carry on then. Which direction? Oh, this is back here. Right. Ah, oh, so there wasn't actually a uh, there wasn't actually a sign in here. Then again, I shouldn't complain. It's, it, it's just basically taking us taking us to a whole new a whole new avenue of exploration, basically. Uh, so our, our inventory is going to be loaded right now, isn't it? Yeah. Can we can we dump some more of it on Lydia? I'm right behind you. How can I serve you, my thane? You can have everything. Um, give. Uh, you can have. Damn, I can't. I can't give a little bit. 
kind of makes sense. Apparel, take that, take that. That's a quest item as well, fair enough. I am sworn to carry your birth. I am at your command. Can you take all my books, please? Give. Give. Seriously, we have we have a lot of books. It's actually, it's actually quite concerning how many books we have. I really don't, I really don't want to, I really do not want a human heart. Actually, no. You know what? As bad as this probably sounds, I'm going, to, I'm going to take the human heart. Oh, I didn't just eat that, did I? Please say I didn't just eat that human heart. No, I, oh my oh. god, that sound that sounded gross. Oh, no, thank you. Nope, 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 nope. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I am sworn to carry your burdens. I'm curious as to exactly what it is that, that that's actually weighing me down so much. I don't know I don't know what, what it could be. Could be the portions. We do we are carrying a lot of portions. But even so, that that's still a lot, you know. Miscellaneous stuff, maybe? Bear pelts, uh, Don't know why I'm carrying these buckets. Ah, that, that, that is... That is... Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense now, actually, doesn't it? Definitely makes sense. So we need to ditch the dragon uh, scales and stuff at some point. Uh, but for now, let's go to High Hrothgar. Which is where we actually need to where we actually need to go. So we will activate that. Jesus, that's a long way up. Like genuinely, that that is a long way up. But we shall we shall begin our our journey upwards, I suppose. Or do we want to wait first until it's daytime? Uh, yeah, we'll probably wait until it's daytime. <laughs> I can't believe that we, we, we've, been, we've been sat there this whole time wondering exactly why um, our carry capacity has been so massive. Uh, <laughs> and we, and we, we just had dragonborns and scales just sitting in there this whole time. It should it should have been pretty pretty obvious. Yeah, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go and sleep until daytime. Can you believe it? Another puppy. Don't worry, I will kill the bears eventually. It might take me a while, but May the gods watch up. Sure thing. I'll show you to your room. You, honestly, you, you don't need to. I know exactly where it is. Fear not. Get gonna get a solid eight hours of sleep, and we're probably gonna wake and feel it feeling well rested. This way. Yes. I mean, honestly, if someone slept in that bed, they would not wake. Did I? Did I just get hurt by a flying pot? Oh. Or did I step in the fire? Honestly, it could be the one. It really could be the one. Okay, so the steps. Lightly armored means lightly. Must start over here? Yes, I think they do. Yeah, up here. But there is a cave here as well, though. Oh, not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Hrothgar. The path isn't safe. Aren't the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. 
Clement. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery up there myself. I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of the Thulm, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. Yeah, not, not a good idea. Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. <laughs> In return? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. I'll take it up for you. I could do it for you. Really? Well, that would be I mean, I'm you. going up there anyway, so my might Here, as well. take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Anything else to watch out for during the climb? Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. Okay. Be careful up there. Where did that elf go who he was speaking to? Ah, oh, it's this dude. Hello, my friend. I always thought it was odd that there's a layer of thick clouds covering the peak of the mountain above the monastery. Huh. Not sure what's up there. But I bet the Greybeards know. You seem quite happy. My father taught me an important lesson many years ago. He said, Gwilin, you have the whole world before you. Go out and experience it. Be whatever you want to be. So I took his advice, and here I am. This life might not look like much to you, but... I'm content. And isn't that all that matters? Well said, Gwilin. Well said. As as long as as long as you are happy with your lot in life, that is all that matters. Oh, I can actually refine this sword as well. Make, make it even better. Wilhelm said he saw you speaking to one of the pilgrims of the seven thousand steps. I told you that I didn't want you to go up there. I know what you said, but I only wanted to speak to him for a moment. Well it stops now, and that's fine. No. Nobody wants to let anybody go up there. Right, okay. On that note, guys, we are going to end this next episode. Next episode, we'll probably check out this cave that's just in front of us here. And then we'll actually take this seven, these 7,000 steps up to High Rothgar and see what we can find. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you all have enjoyed. If you have, then please do like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I shall catch you all in the next episode of Skyrim. Thanks again, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.